with the Google Drive application. Um, using, uh, I'm using a Mac here, as you can see, I'm connected via Wi-Fi. I'm just going to plug my um, Ethernet cable in. And in a second, you'll see that um, my Ethernet connection comes on. And you can see when I select that, if I select that, go to Advanced, you can see that I've got the proxies here set um, as per ICT's instructions with the proxy pack file. Okay, so I go down and uh, try and start up and connect with Google Drive. Uh, so what this is is an application you download. Uh, sorry, let me just get that on. Here it comes, and you can see it's trying to it's trying to connect right now. And you get Google Drive cannot connect to the internet. Please click, check your internet connection. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so I've got my Chrome browser here. I'll just make a new tab in my Chrome browser. If I can do that. It's a little bit slow. So I'll make a new tab in my Chrome browser. Uh, let's say I go to the Herald site. And that should come up. Right, so obviously I've got an internet connection, but um, Google Drive is, uh, is not helping me out here. Uh, so just to prove again that it is a Z Scholar issue, I'm going to disconnect my uh, wireless, uh, sorry, my wired connection and go back to Wi-Fi. So now, as you can see, I'm on Wi-Fi and I'm uh, not going through the proxy, so just to verify that. There's the proxies. You can see I'm not going through the proxy. Um, we'll just apply that and uh, just minimize that. So now if I try and start up Google Drive again, in a couple of seconds you'll see the application will come up and ask me to sign in. It takes a couple of seconds. So there it is, sign into Google Drive so I can say sign in now. And I simply put my uh, sign in in. And password, etc. And sign in. And uh, I should get prompted by the, um, yep, prompted by our single sign on. And that should go ahead and um, log me in. in. A couple of seconds. So it hasn't already. Oh, maybe it didn't pick up my return. Okay. And in a couple of seconds, there it is. Okay, so that's the issue. Um, hopefully, you guys can sort it out with said Scala.